So let me scrape down some of this hard stuff. Again, nothing should hurt at this stage. The toe should be already pretty numb. Anything? Nothing. Now, how long would you say ago you first saw that first foot specialist? The Credit Valley? The first one, yeah. And that was the first time it was ever really treated. Um, no. No, I had the. Uh, I had gone to a place in Streetsville a couple times, but again, it was never big. It was how small was it before? Like small. It was. This is all from when I went to that. Uh, the bio uh, place when they put that uh, blistering agent, that blistering agent on. It's massive, absolutely massive. We're gonna do a quick little check. We can see the cloudy tissue, black dots. It's a wart. I'm gonna touch here something sharp. Feel that? Pressure is normal, but you shouldn't feel anything sharp. Nobody home. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, so that's the only hard parts here. Part I put a little blue rubber band on. That way there's no blood. We get to see everything really clear. Warts tend to bleed a lot. So the first couple of days, it is normal for this to bleed. We're just gonna be changing the bandages. That's why I'm giving you extra gauze, extra bandages. But what's unbelievable, the body's gonna fill this space in in one week. So even with all, all other foot stretches, like, um, it was really just that one blistering veal juice, they call it, that that made it bad. Yeah. Was it just one treatment they did that? No, she did uh, she did two, I believe. Yeah, I believe it was two. And what was the game plan when? It, well, the thing was, was that, just, you know, it would blister up, but she, they'd be like, you gotta come back to get the blister. But I think they only do it one day a month that she was work like so and then they would cancel and you'd go it was just, so it was really hard to be consistent right? right yeah listen I don't mind coming in like it's me you gotta do it and it is what it is you know what I mean but just you know help me here and uh, and that's it the, like I said I was going to the one at Credit Valley for over a year it was just like routine every like six weeks and it was almost like I was going in and getting a pedicure. And I, I think that was the, sometimes we get stuck in that yeah. routine kind of feel versus, yeah. hey, you came in originally for this guy. Yeah. Let's get rid of it. And do, what kind of other options do did the other clinics offer you? Was, was there other options for this stuff or was it really just one thing they would do and that's about it? At Credit Valley, it was never, nothing really ever came out of any other option to do. At that bio, she mentioned something about the needling, and that was it. And, and that's the, the one thing that I've learned over over the years is we need to have options, yeah. right? Sometimes one thing might work, it might not, and if it doesn't, you got to try something else. And the other thing is, not all warts are the same. Not all warts will respond to the same treatment. So again, nothing should hurt. And at this stage, it's it was so calloused scarred, damaged, and the size of it that, and how, I can't even believe the discomfort, that we're just gonna get rid of it in this one go. Now the important part is just now seeing how it heal over the next couple months. Two to three months it should be fully healed. We're just gonna be taking a look, do we see any regrowth? And if there is, since we've got the big chunk out, it's just about taking care of maybe a little spot, if anything but we talked about we have creams, we have laser, we have a lot of different options. There's your guy. Oh, Jesus. That's how thick it is. What the heck, man? We're done. Oh my God, I almost want to take a picture of that. You I'm definitely gonna, have to take I'm, a picture. I'm kind of grossed out. <laughs> oh I don't even want to look at it, I'm just going to take a picture of it. Here, we'll take that. And we'll take the back side. Here. 
discussed. So this is how you gotta take care of it. Okay, we'll put the foot back. Yeah, you relax it. There we go. Awesome. So you're gonna put antibiotic cream, gauze, and wrap. Now it is gonna bleed because the body has to fill this up. So if it bleeds through the bandage I put on, mm -hmm. just throw in a new bandage on. Okay. You want to do this a couple times, and after usually one to two days, it should slow down, stop. There's no major arteries in the toe. It's just a matter of it calming down on its own. Let me wrap this baby up. I'm gonna put this gauze on there. So you're gonna put the cream, gauze, wrap, okay. morning and night for the next week. If it bleeds through, you're just gonna take the bandage off, put a new one on. And we're gonna keep dressing it until it stops bleeding, which could be, like I said, one to two days, but that's all completely normal. The body now is basically gonna have to fill that gap with new healthy tissue. So I'm putting a little bit of a heavier dressing on today okay. just to reduce as much bleeding as we can. But again, I expect this to bleed through maybe in a couple hours. Then we just take everything off, put it on all over again, okay? okay. Pressure's not a bad thing, so I know it looks a little bit big, but we'll just jam it into the shoe for now just yeah. to get you out of here. Uh, are you doing a call from home? Yeah. And I'm gonna put a little bit of a plastic wrap on there. Just in case it does bleed through, it doesn't go into the socks. Your first dressing change will be tonight. Okay. So you're gonna take everything off, put a new dressing on. If you want to shower, you can shower starting yeah. tonight, but shower always with it covered, yeah. whether it has the wrap or the band-aid, and you put a new dressing on. So always shower with it covered. Always shower with it covered for the first week for sure, okay? First week. Once we have it flat, full, then we're okay. We just don't want anything to get in there. Okay. There you go.